hello guys so in this video we are going to create a main menu for our game in the previous video we have created this pause menu so that whenever we click on this pause button our game will be paused and we can resume or quit now we will create a main menu so that whenever we start the game the main menu will be shown first and then we can choose to play the game or quit currently we will implement only two functionalities quit and play but later on we can add high score and options so to create a main menu we have to create a new scene currently we have this sample scene you can also rename this to level or game whatever you want but we will create a new scene so let's create a new scene and we will name it as main menu now double click on it to open now we want to change the background color of this main menu so click on this background property and change it to something white you can make it like whatever you want we will also create a button here so let's go into the ui and then button it will automatically create the canvas and event system we have already talked about these two so we will choose screen space camera as our render mode and we will drag and drop our main camera and here we will click on this pixel perfect so for the ui scale mode we will go with scale with screen size so it will scale our canvas according to the screen resolution so we have to provide this reference resolution so let's say uh, 1920 by 1080 then because we are in portrait mode then we have to give 1080 by 1920 and here we will say 0 0.5 now we will rename this button to play so let's rename it to play and we will make it little bit bigger let's go with 300 by Let's go with 400 by 200. Okay. Now we will also change the text on the button. So let's make it as play. We will choose the font style as a bold and uh, let's increase the font size. We can make it 200 and we can also click on this best fit so it will uh, fit our text according to the size of this button now it is already centered we will also change its color if you want but let's change it to completely black now we will also give it a shadow and uh, let's adjust this effect distance now you can also change the effect color of this shadow but this looks quite well now we will also give the shadow to our button and change the effect distance okay so now we will also reposition our button let's click on the button and okay so let's click on this move tool and drag it 
little bit upward okay this is good now we will duplicate this button so let's press control D and we will rename this to quit and we will also change the text on the button quit and uh, let's reposition it okay so we have only selected the text we have to select this whole quit button okay so if we want to give a title to our game then uh, we need to uh, hold display and quit button slightly below so let's select them by holding shift and we will drag them downwards we can add the title if we want and we can also add high score now we will make this quit button a little bit smaller okay so it's looking quite good now you can also add a title by just right clicking on canvas and adding a symbol text element so we will call it as our first game or you can call it whatever you want and we will increase its size it is currently not visible because the text box is quite small let's click on this rect tool and we can expand this and we will also reposition our title so now click on this text and we will align it to center both horizontally and vertically now you can see that it's looking quite good we can also change its color let's click on this best fit we can also change its color then we can also give it a shadow like this you can also increase the font size let's name it as endless runner okay that is good now that we have created the main ui of our main menu then we can save it and we have to also add this main menu scene to our build settings so click on build settings and drag and drop this main menu to our uh, build setting uh, this scene list so now we can create a main menu script so click on the script folder right click create a new c sharp script and call it as main menu double click on it to open it up in the visual studio now we are going to use unity's ui so using add this namespace using unity engine dot ui okay so we can we are also we are also going to use the scene management so let's include that as well unity engine dot scene management in fact we are uh, we will not be using this ui unity engine dot ui namespace uh, but we we are going to use this unity engine dot scene management so let's create some functions for our buttons let's create a public 
white play game and here we can say scene manager dot load scene and here we can pass in the name of our scene so in this we have to copy the scene name click on this sample scene click on f2 control c and then we can paste this scene name here you can also rename this sample scene to label or something like that and for the quit button which is quite simple public let's just copy it from our game manager script we have already created this quit button functionality here so let's copy it okay now we have created the main menu script so let's get back to the unity and uh, we can assign this main menu script to our canvas so let's assign it now click on this button control press control and you can select both of them at the same time and we will add this on click event and drag and drop the canvas so for the play button we will choose the play function play game function and for the quit button we will choose quit but quit game function now our setup is ready so we can hit play this quit button will not work in the editor but once we export our game to android it will quit our game whenever we click on this let's click on play now we have to also assign our uh, main menu a main menu button a function uh, that can uh, redirect us to main menu whenever we uh, lose the game so let's add that functionality also let's get back to the game manager script and uh, here we will create a new function so let's create a public void main menu and uh, here we will say scene manager dot load scene and we will give it the name of our main menu scene which is main menu you have to type in the correct name otherwise it will not work so let's copy it from here and paste it okay so it is done now save the script and go back to the unity and now we can go to the sample scene and uh, in the pause menu we have a resume and quit button but in the game over panel we have this main button so let's add a on click event and uh, drag and drop the game manager game object and select main menu function and it is done so now let's hit play and uh, we can see that we can now go back to the main menu and we can play our game so that was it for this video thank you for watching